guys, look where we are. We are back in the studio. Can you even believe it? I'm feeling pretty motivated today. The last few weeks have been crazy and I've just been in a total funk and I've now set up a new morning routine and it is sorting me right out. I need to come into the studio only when necessary and I've been working from home as you've seen or maybe you haven't seen in my working from home vlogs. And look what I did last night. Oh my God, I chopped my own hair off. The one who has been with this channel for a long time will know that I had like white, platinum white hair for a good year and it really, really damaged the ends of my hair and my ends were just not growing at all. So I had to rely on extensions and last night I was just getting so fed up. I just got scissors and I just went like that and then the rest is history. I just made myself a coffee. I actually have been in a little bit of an art block for the last, like I would say, four or five months. I've been doing artwork here and there, but back when I was really trying to grow Instagram and I was really trying to grow my following, I used to do an illustration a day and I used to post twice a day to Instagram, one as a product and one as an illustration or something new that I created. And I just completely got out of that cycle. And I thought, now that I'm working back from home, I really want to get back into the swing of doing Doing things like that and I did an illustration last night which was of a bee sleeping in tulips I'll put it here so you can see and it was so cute I was really really happy with how that turned out the prompt was tulips and I didn't have a clue what I was going to draw this is the great thing about working with prompts I'd never know what to draw but then like you kind of create like an image in your head from tulips and I thought oh what how cute would it be if there was a bee sleeping in the tulips and having a little nap because I don't know about you but I'm like do bees like where do bees sleep I'm just editing this video but I thought I would show you this adorable cute photo that actually got sent to me. I didn't realise but bees can get like pollen drunk and fall asleep in the flowers of the little fuzzy butts hanging out. And yeah I've got red hair and a video's coming soon okay bye. I just had this really cute image of my little bee character having a little nap on this uh, cute tulip so I was really really happy with how that turned out and I've done a few other things like this lemon cat that I did and I thought they would make really really cute die cut stickers. Now I I haven't done die cuts for ages. The only two die cuts I have, I'll show you, are these two. They are my little pudding pot. I don't know if you can see. And then I've got this little milk die cut as well. And I haven't really updated them since. And they're like nearly a year old now, if not more than a year old. So I thought these new illustrations would work perfectly as die cut stickers. So that's what I want to work on today. First thing that I've got is to post everyone's prints and stuff. So. Let's get to work on some packing and then we can work on some die cutting stickers and hopefully get those backing cards in off. I've got this cute little parcel off um, a lovely Etsy seller called Bonnie and Jess who sell wax melts. Oh, this smells, smells so good. They're called uh, Bonnie and Jess Wax Emporium. Mmm, this smells so good. Ooh, fairy dust. I think that one's my favourite one. Mmm. Yeah, so I'm going to see if there's any cute wax melts. Talk about procrastination, am I right? I'm just making like a new sheet of paper with this bee on, like a letter piece of paper. Um, because I want to write Rosie a little note and I also think it would make a really cute paper stationery. I've just finished designing the paper and oh my gosh, he looks so cute!
This is my old label that I use for addresses and stuff that I print out uh, for my Etsy store but I'm getting really sick of seeing the same old design so I think I'm going to just change it up. I can only do it in black and white but I'm just feeling, yeah, I'm feeling like I want to change this up a little bit. design I've done for the new address labels but I'm not sure how it's going to print because I've used different gradients of grey and I don't know if the thermal printer will do that or whether it'll just print black so we're going to have to do a little test print. Okay it doesn't really work so this is what it's turned out like and as you can see the grey hasn't really printed. I also think this U de Best is a little small and the body can hardly even see so I'm going to try this again and I'm going to make the lines black and try and make this little catnip in the corner here a little bigger. It's a shame really because it really looked cute in grey. I thought it would look really really nice but never mind. Let's uh, try again. So this is the result. Obviously it's not the best print but I think it looks cute. Let me put it on the table so you can see a little better. Yeah I think that looks pretty cute. It's nice and refreshed. I like the way catnip's in the corner saying use the best. It's got like a little minimal border on it. Yeah I think that's cute. I think that'll make Nice and cute return levels. I think the only thing I would change is I might change the kerning on this text and just make the letter spacing a little bit uh, further apart. But what do you think? I think it looks pretty cute. Am I right? I've just finished adding the little bees to my Etsy shop. I made a digital download for the letter set that I made earlier. And then I've also done the art print. I've uploaded the art print as well to my store. But when I uploaded this, I accidentally 
didn't press copy so when you're on Etsy you can copy a listing and that's usually what I do when I'm making like a new listing and instead I wiped over my strawberry sticker set um, letter set even and that one is actually on my laptop at home so I can't believe I've done that one idiot I've done that several times as well literally I probably do it every time I make some new listings so I'm gonna have to go home and re-upload that because that's now not available on my store my strawberry one that I did a couple of weeks back and that has been one of the best sellers like it's been selling quite well so I really really need to get that up and um, what an idiot what a rookie mistake it's now 20 to 5 so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to make those die cut stickers I might have to do them another day which I'm a bit sad about but just before I leave I'm actually going to upload some new art prints to the shop that I've had like literally on my iPad for absolutely ages okay so I'm just finished I uploaded a bunch of art print but it is now 12 minutes past six I've got my little stitch background at the moment and I really need to do some shopping so I'm gonna head home I'm not finished work for the day unfortunately I'm gonna have to do some work at home anyway I'm gonna brace doing my weekly shop Um, we haven't been shopping for like a week and a half now we tend to do like one huge shop and then try and avoid going back out again it's easy to forget when I'm in the studio that all of this is going on because when I'm in the studio it feels more like a normal working day and a normal routine and it's really nice to come here but obviously we want to limit the amount we go out as much as possible so I'll be probably in the studio twice this week. Shopping time! These blinds are literally so broken. <laughs> planning on coming to the studio today I was going to do a work from home day it's now actually 7 p.m I've just had my tea as you can see I've got no makeup on and I've got stains down my hoodie and I'm in like shorts and stuff I had the strongest urge to come in and make those stickers so it's currently 7 p.m I'm just starting in the studio a little strange let's get to work seeing as all here so there's around about five stickers that i want to make into a die cut sticker including this little bee guy and what i'm thinking of doing is actually keeping the background this color and having it like cut out to this color so i'm going to open up a new layer and create a background for him and put it on my cricket and get them printed and see what they look like so let's just get into it shall we
I'm finished I've made a big pack of uh, die cuts there is a few things that I will change next time I'm really really happy with the size of the B one and the marshy one but I'm not really happy with the size of the gingy and spice room one as you can see it's a little small and some of the details are getting lost so I think next time I'm going to make them much chunkier so you can see all the details and on the lemon cat it's really hard to see the Catnip Studios logo at the bottom tag here so I'll probably darken that up next time I make a bunch but they did turn out super cute this paper is so smooth I love it the question of the week is which die cut sticker did you like the best let me know in the comments below thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed coming back into the studio oh my gosh my phone is going crazy all right then thanks so much for watching I love you goodbye